Welcome back, YouTube. We now have the wrapped, finished handle, and you could leave it like this. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it per se, but there are two more operations that I'd like to do and show you. The first is simply this. Heat it all around, and all of the glue that you applied will, to some extent, remelt and fuse more uh, thoroughly with the strands, the string itself. That should be sufficient for that. And now, the second and more interesting part, I think, you'll need a, a match, a lighter. I like to use the barbecue lighters, like this. Simply hold it, hold the bow, good in one hand, and then take the flame and pass it underneath. Let me see if I can do it on this side so you can see better. All of the little strands will ignite and burn out really quickly. Do this carefully, please. You don't want to burn your house down. But if you're careful, this shouldn't be an issue. You will notice a lot of smoke, smell, actually smells quite nice, I think. And uh, it's possible your fire alarm will go off. See this thicker area here? It's just an ember now, burning. So that should burn itself out, but I'm not certain, so I'll probably there. That was probably at a splice in the string, so it was a little bit thick there. I just didn't like that. It was too much. So now let's take that and just snap it off or smother it. There. Leaves a nice, smooth area where that big, bulky buildup was. Same thing here where it, the, uh, the string was pulled through. You could light it a little bit more, let it burn, and then put it out. And you should just be able to smooth away that buildup, that, uh, I don't know, unpleasant bulkiness. So that's pretty close to, uh, to finish now. I'm happy with that. Use caution. This is fire. Fire burns. So I really don't want you guys to you know, burn your houses down. I trust that you're all responsible, mature adults. But still, go try that. And I think you'll find it removes a lot of the stray strands, gives a nice compact look to the, uh, to the fiber. I think it's a great way to, to finish it. The only other thing I wanted to do now was to help mask the transitions between the bow and the sias, or the recurves. And I was going to do that with a little bit of this gold string here. The last time I used this was on Ken Holmes' bow, the Scythian bow, the first Scythian bow that I ever made. And this is very fine string, but that length should be sufficient for what I'm planning. So like before, I'm just going to add a little bead of hot glue there it is, to the end of this. And I'm going to press it on where I want it. Just a little bit uh, below the upper end of where I'm going to start wrapping. Because then you're going to wrap over this. See, like so. Yeah, the other thing is, it does want to work itself up the sea, so I'm going to apply a bead of hot glue. Well, there's plenty of hot glue there. How about I just heat it? So let's take the hot heat gun. Focus in the back of the sea for a second. And you see it start to liquefy. Okay, super. So now, when we wrap this, we'll be wrapping it into glue that's already been melted. So it might move for the next few minutes, but that's going to stop real soon. 
is that set. Great. Okay, so then we're left with finishing the other end in exactly the same manner. We just need to terminate. This is exactly like the, uh, the handle section. What I'm going to do is take my finger, make a loop like so, and then start feeding the string through further down the limb. What this does is you create a little reserve of, of string that you're going to transfer from where you're wrapping it down here up to where you started. But you're going to first lock the, the end of the string up at the top and pull it taut. So it's just a way to let the string hold itself, although I, again, like to add a little bead of glue just to make sure. And if that description didn't make any sense, just watch and I will show you. Hopefully it'll all be clear after that. This is just basic serving the exact same as you do for uh, bowstrings. So if you do bowstrings, if you make bowstrings, this should be very, very simple. Just instead of a string, you're doing a bow. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. So now, you see what I did is instead of wrapping it one more time, I pulled it through and now I'm angling it up towards the, the top. Just like that. So now, you continue wrapping, but as you wrap, you're transferring the string from the bottom to the top. And just make sure the string doesn't get in the way. Let me grab a little bit of hot glue again and just put a bead on the back. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it doesn't have any uh, tendency to slip here before we go and uh, heat it, because we'll do that too. Okay. So you like that? You see what we're doing? Okay, now, again, just make sure that stays where it was. You don't want that to keep slipping, and you don't want to keep uh, twisting the string over it. The loose end needs to remain loose, because that's where you're going to pull from. And just keep making sure it's packed tight, although you don't have to be too anal about it, because when you pull this loose string, it's going to tighten it up for the most part on its own. So don't get too bent out of shape. Okay, that leaves you with one loop and a loose string at the end. So this is, again, where I like to take a little bit of the glue, put it near the back here, say. You can wipe off excess glue later after it sets, and then just pull this tight make sure it's at the bottom. Okay, push it up. Make sure it's all tight and take that string. Hush, hush doggy. Shh. I'll feed you soon. It is not nearly lunch time. Okay. There you go. Pretty darn nice. You can take and pinch off any of the semi-set hot glue. And the same thing goes for either uh, any of the other sides. Take that remaining little uh, strand and just snip it off. If you like, you can put a little bead of hot glue there in uh, where it got fed through, just on the off chance that it'll slip through and try and unwind itself. Again, I like to reinforce these things like so, just to prevent any unpleasantness. That's it. I'm going to do the exact same thing to be other side, and we'll check back in a minute or two, and I'll show you the finished bow. And that's it. That's really 100% done then. And thanks for your patience, YouTube. Here is the finished dragon's head bow, served with gold thread up at the top, genuine suede leather, 
and jute fiber at the handle. Norse runic designs. It's actually from an inscription, but I just captured it willy-nilly. I wasn't actually trying to write something. I just wanted them there because I, well, that was that was where my mind was at the time. It was more important just to have something that looked good rather than having a meaningful sentence on there. And the heads and the tails. I think that looks pretty awesome. So, thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting, and I hope that you'll be creating some bows that are you know, exceptionally beautiful using some of these techniques, and I hope I've been helpful with that. Thanks again. Subscribe if you like. See you guys later.